Hey guys, and happy new year. It is January 1st. Praise the Lord, a new year. I'm sitting here with this little one. We're in the car. We're sitting right outside of church. We're about to head inside. I was nursing her before we went in. Um, but I just wanted to kick off our morning and say happy new year. I hope your new year's Eve was wonderful and safe. Um, and uh, let's get the day going. We're back at home. My fan is going <laughs> now. Service was really, really good. Um, it was a very like eye-opening type of service, and it was, I think, like the perfect um, service to have on the first day of the year. It was just awesome. It was great. I'm currently laying here with this one. She's finding sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've had a migraine since I woke up this morning. And it's just like taking everything out of me. So I'm just kind of resting with her while she's, she's finding sleep, like I said. So she's needing to take a nap, but oh well, I'm not in any rush. Like I said, I'm just relaxing. So that's what we are currently up to. My husband just went grocery shopping so we can make something for lunch. Um, it's beautiful outside. It's like 65 is the high today. It's so nice. So we're going to plan to make some lunch, eat, and then spend the majority of the day outside until it starts getting dark. So that is what we are up to at the moment. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of footage for today because it's been a really low key day and I've had a migraine and stuff. As I was saying, I wanted to take a second to talk about this Ninico brand. It is shaped for breastfeeding, so it's supposed to look more like a realistic nipple. And it's owned by a local brand um, based in St. Louis, but um, I will link their Instagram down below. I actually emailed them to see if they would have a discount code they would want me to use but um, I haven't heard back yet, so. Um, but it is really awesome. It's super, it's supposed to feel like skin, like real nipple skin. So it's really soft and collapsible. Um, and it, the whole thing itself is really flimsy. But what is really great about it and what I've used it for is correcting my daughter's latch. So when she was in the NICU, she was being bottle fed um, whenever we weren't there, whenever I didn't have anything pumped for her. So um, she was really used to using like an actual bottle nipple. So I had these gifted to me um, for my baby sprinkle for her anyways. But um, when we were in the hospital and afterwards, we hadn't really used them too much. But I have been using them to correct her latch because she had a very improper latch and was making it really hard for her to um, get all the milk from me, which she still has to be supplemented because um, with having that struggle for so long, I think it's just really taking a toll on my supply itself. So that's a whole other story, but I highly recommend these. I think they run to be about $12 a piece. Um, I'll have to check online just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how much they are, um, which seems kind of steep for pacifiers, but with how much that they actually improve the latch, um, like now whenever I breastfeed my daughter, it actually like she does have a proper latch and it's great. It feels a lot better than it did. So it's definitely worth the money, I would say. So I wanted to talk about that. And it has a bunch of different colors. So this one is petal pink, but it also comes in blueberry and um, plum, I think is another one. Um, and just they have all kinds of different colors. It's really, really cute. Um, the company is really cute. And like I said, I will link their Instagram down below, which has a link to their website. So it's much later now, it's about midnight. Um, actually a little bit after I think. 
I wanted to talk a little bit about my 2023 goals and like dreams and wishes, I guess. Um, I talked about it a little bit in my first daily vlog that I've started consistently vlogging, which I think was December 29th. That might be wrong. Um, but I kind of talked about how I want to really focus on my self-care and taking care of myself and like putting in the extra time for myself, like cutting out that extra time. Along with that, I've been really trying to think about things that would just like help me feel better, be happier during my days. And another thing is to be more devoted to spending time with the Lord, which I am, there's really no excuse for it. I was going to say I'm a really busy mom, really not all that busy. I mean, I'm able to cut out, I think it takes me about 15 minutes to do my usual Bible study. So, um, definitely not too busy to spend some quality time with him. And uh, my husband has officially switched at least a day off to being on Sunday, which is really good because now we can all go to church as a family. So we're definitely taking the right steps to achieve that goal. Um, because before him and I, well, that's not true. So pretty much as soon as him and I got together, I was pregnant. And every time I'd go to church, I would get sick. Um, and I was already uncomfortable enough as it is being pregnant and then being sick on top of it was just miserable. So I was going to church consistently every Sunday before him and I got together and then even after him and I got together very consistently. And then once I got pregnant, I tried to go, but like I said, when I, I kept getting sick, so I kind of like staggered that like I wasn't really doing it every single Sunday and then once we had our son it was like we almost completely stopped going I I almost completely stopped going um so this year or well in 2022 we started trying to be more cons like be more intentional about going to church I'll say and so my husband came to me and he was like I think I need to start taking Sundays off um, so that we can go to church as a family. And I think that that's such a great idea. So it was just so happened to be that today was our first day um, being able to go to church on a Sunday. And it's a holiday, so he would have been off board anyways. But it would have been his first Sunday off as his day off of the week. So super excited about that. Taking the right steps there as far as that goes. Um... I'm going to start taking baby steps as far as doing things for myself. Um, I am trying to take better care of my skin, which I have really bad postpartum. Um, I don't even know if you call it postpartum. It's really just hormonal breakouts because it's all in like this area. And beyond that, um, I read that you can get really bad hormonal acne from breastfeeding, which I am doing. So um, that just really is what it is. I'm going to do what I can to take care of it, but it's going to be there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm good. Like I said, I'm going to do what I can, but I'm going to try to take really good care of my skin and make sure that I at least put on mascara during the days. Um, that's going to be my thing is as long as I can get some mascara on, I'll be okay. Today, that's all I did is put on a little bit. I curled my eyelashes and put some mascara on and I felt at least a little more pulled together than my average day. So I think that's a, excuse me. I think that's a good place for me to start. So that's that. I would like to lean my way into, um, you know, getting my hair done more re like consistently. I balayaged my hair last year and um or even two years ago at this point and I really liked it so I could just do it myself but um having it done by somebody else I think would be pretty nice too. I do want to get my hair cut that is something that I want because as I've gotten older I've decided I really don't like my hair very long and it's quite long now. I think the last time I got my hair cut was back in March 
so it's been a while my hair definitely feels like it needs it and like I said I just like it to be more like this length I think so we'll see I think whenever I do get my hair cut I plan on doing something a little different than I've done the past few years but we'll see when we get there and that is a little bit of that as far as my dreams go my dreams would be to get out of our little condo and get into a home an actual house with a yard and you know that kind of a thing um that's my hopes well, it's not it's not anywhere near um being in the works at all whatsoever it's actually like not even close not even in the rear view mirror like nothing it's like it's like way off but it's something that I do like have in my mind that like I'm just gonna pray about it and just hope that things align another thing as far as that goes as far as praying and fingers crossed and all that is um being able to travel more we travel a decent amount we at least go on a trip a year even if it's small trips we go on at least one a year but i would like to be able to go more than what we do last year we went to disney world in january february area and then we went to Fort Walton Beach in Destin, Florida in May for our baby moon. And that was really nice. I think it, it really plussed up our year last year. And to think about doing that even more, even more than that, would just be like a dream come true. So that is like one of my dreams for, or like a goal or whatever you want to say. I'm just gonna really pray about it because I've been really my husband and I both have like had this feeling of like something big needs to happen for us and we just keep praying and praying about it um and that's the best that we can do but that's those both of those two things have just been heavily on my mind um I think I'm just I'm really ready for some big change change of scenery you know, just I'm ready to be changed is is the thing. I'm ready for, you know, his grace to, you know, change us. Be the change. Change, you know, be changed. I want to be changed. Ugh, I must be tired. I'm babbling on. But that has just been on my mind as I'm sitting here late at night. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and get ready for bed, get my jammies on and things like that. It is late. What's amazing to me is last night, I ended up falling asleep on the couch at like 10 and woke up about like 10.45 and went up to bed and just went to bed. <laughs> I had to get up with the baby. I must have been right before midnight because while I was nursing her down, I started hearing a bunch of fireworks. So, um, we all were asleep before midnight last night, which is a first for me, I think, since I was probably like a little, little kid. And now it's past midnight and I'm still awake and doing this. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your goals and dreams are for this year. Um, I don't think I talked about that too much in my previous vlogs. But I am curious to know what yours are. Um, until tomorrow, guys. Bye.